Here is how to get games on the Apple Watch. I already made a video like this, a similar one, like 3 years ago, so here is an updated one. So the first thing that you should know is that games are still essentially apps, like in the sense that they're still applications, so that pretty much means that the process of downloading games and any other apps is completely the same, so it's not any difference for downloading games. Okay, so at first you have to meet some obvious conditions, like I have to mention it just to make sure. So you need, you need to have an Apple ID, you have to make sure it's verified so you can download apps, you need to have the Apple Watch paired to the iPhone, you have to bring those devices together and so on. I mean, I'm not going to mention stuff like this, I mean, you, you have to have enough battery, so this is all pretty obvious, but I just had to mention it. So in the, this video two questions will be answered. The first is how to download any game that you already know about and put it on the watch. And second, how to find games, like how to get some interesting ones if you don't have them already. So at first, if you need to download an app that you know is a game on the watch, you can use the App Store on iPhone. So you pretty much search for the app and download it on the iPhone. In the App Store, you're just going to have to check that it really has an Apple Watch version. So if you just scroll down through the screenshots, if it has an Apple Watch, if it works there, then you're going to see that it's available for it. You will probably see screenshots. The same thing for iMessage apps, iPad apps. And yeah, it's pretty much just showing you which platforms the app can run on. So you click get, you download the app on the iPhone and if it didn't already appear in the app menu on the Apple Watch automatically, then you go to the watch app on the iPhone, scroll all the way to the bottom and there you'll see all of the, the list of all of the third party installed apps and you have to add it manually. But probably more important question is this. By the way, guys, if you are new on this channel, then I just want you to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. It also helps the channel grow and we can become a better and bigger community. So you can definitely do that if you want to. So the, the second more important question, like I say, is how do you actually find the games? How to know what to download? Well, the thing is that we already have an app store on the Apple Watch itself, so iPhone, in fact, is not really necessary for downloading stuff on the watch. But if you open it up, you're gonna find out that there aren't many things to see right there. Like, you don't have any sections, there aren't any games shown to you, no recommendation, no categories, pretty much nothing. You can't browse through popular games or anything like that, and this kind of sucks, obviously. So, you can still search for something, but if you don't know what you are searching for, then it's probably gonna be useless for you. You can search for the term game or games, and you'll get multiple results, but there is much more available than this, like, of course. And yeah, if you search for the, the term game, like, developers usually don't include the word game in the, the title of the game. So many games that could be shown to you will simply not be. In the watch app on the iPhone, the app store section got removed because that also was a good idea and it sucks because there you could browse only through apps that you are sure you can download on the watch. And in the regular app store, you need to always check if the app is also like, if it also has a watch version. So you're pretty much stuck with searching for it manually and then through the app store to find the game because it's not really that simple like you can see. So the other option you have is to simply rely on people recommending you the games and other apps and also providing the link to download it right away. And that is great because you don't really need to care about anything. You just click on the link and download the game. And if it's available in your country, then there's nothing uh, going on that, that would like hinder you from using or playing that game. And that is definitely great. 
like I already made multiple videos with links to multiple games. So you can definitely take a look at that, like of course I show you how it works, some basic info about it, but most importantly you just can click the link and you just be redirected to the App Store and you know for sure that this app can be used on the Apple Watch. You don't have to dig through it, you don't have to find out everything on your own, you don't have to check for any stuff. Like, this wasn't supposed to be a pitch for my other uh, videos, like, of course, this is obvious, but I've definitely done my research for stuff, you can use, you can watch other videos, of course, from other creators, the thing is that um, it's really a great idea to have a list of some popular games or some recommendation list that you can simply take a look at and download the games, because it's really hard to find them on your own. So yeah, just like I say, I'd recommend you to go to YouTube and search for best games for the Apple Watch. My videos will probably pop up as well. So definitely take a look at some of the stuff that I'm talking about and you will definitely pick some games that you may like. So this would be pretty much it. I don't think that there is anything else like important stuff that I could say about it, about downloading games on the watch. Of course, don't expect too much. It's simply, it's, it still is just a watch. So don't expect some 3D graphics or some really intense strategy games. It's probably going to be something light and easy to play. The, definitely something like that should be expected. But right now I want to say thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a thumbs up. This would definitely help me a lot. And yeah, see you guys later.